beautiful. Welcome back to Tanya TV. I'm your host, Tanya Rainier, and today we're talking about how to start a badass life coaching business. Now, if you've already made the decision to become a life coach, yay, congratulations. Now you are ready to rock it as a business owner so that you can start attracting clients that you love, making money, and you know working toward that life of freedom. And this episode is gonna help you do it. We're gonna break it down into six steps for you. So grab a pen and a notebook and get ready to take some notes because this is going to be filled with so many juicy nuggets, you're gonna wanna write things down. Okay. So I'm gonna start at the beginning and assume that we are just getting started. You may have already started your journey and that's okay if you have. I want you to kind of think back on how you've been working through these steps and identify if maybe you've missed something. So you can always go back and fill in the holes. So step number one is to get super, super, super clear on your focus, your niche, your one thing. Uh, this is your message. This is the one thing you're gonna focus on with your business at least for now. Now, the thing about niching down scares the heck out of people because they're like, oh, what if I niche down too much? What if I get too specific? What if I don't love it? What if I, you know, niche down so much that I can't attract clients and it's, you know, I can't make money. Now, I want to say something to that. You cannot niche down too much. Like in all of my years of coaching, I've never seen this happen. Um, I've been working with business owners for a really long time and niching down a lot at the beginning is the best thing. It's going to allow you to attract the people that you need into your business. Um, it's gonna help you to create clarity around your message and make sure that that message gets out and resonates with the right people and repels the wrong ones. Think about the stores you go to, Home Goods, for instance. Home Goods doesn't want people coming in their store looking for sporting goods and hunting and fishing equipment, right? They want people coming in looking for home decor because the people that come in knowing that this store only sells home goods, right? Hence the name Home Goods, that they're more likely to buy something. However, if you get a ton of people coming into that store looking for other things, things that they don't sell, their chances of making a sale are pretty slim because, hey, you're looking for something that I don't offer. So why do I want you in my store if you're looking for something that I can't sell you, right? No, you wanna attract people that are looking for the exact thing that you sell. And you do that by getting really clear on what your niche or specialty is, which means, hey, what do you sell? And who do you wanna to sell to? right? So that is absolutely step one. Now, the reason I say that that's step one is because you build your entire business around this. Now, you may have already gone and registered your business name and done the legal stuff. And that's cool because you can do this in any order. But when I'm working with coaches who are brand new, I like to start with that clarity component because then we kind of go from there and set goals and say, what do you want this business to look like? And do we want to create a business name that speaks to that ideal client that describes in the name what you do? Kind of like home goods, right? Or sports authority, sporting goods. So um, you can create a name for your business that tells people right in the name what you do, or you can go the route of you know creating a name that is you know, Tanya Rainier coaching or something like that, right? So there's a lot of different options, but having that clarity all laid out and kind of having that plan up front allows you to make more confident decisions that you're less likely to change down the road, okay? So step two is to do all the legal stuff. Get your business name, uh, register your business legally as a DBA or an LLC, open a business checking account, open your merchant accounts, Stripe and PayPal, things like that, so that you can start earning money for the services and the work that you do in the world. Okay, with that out of the way, you are now a legit business and it's time to start going pro, which means creating a professional uh, presence and brand look for your business. This is the fun stuff. I have an, a background in interior design, which is kind of why I talk about home goods and things like that, right? I love this part because it's the creative part. It's the part where you get to infuse your personality into your business and let people see a side of you that they wouldn't otherwise see, 
right? They need those colors. They need those images. Uh, branding is all about creating a vibe, creating the right kind of atmosphere or ambiance and emotion that you want people to feel. So when you think about how do you want people to feel when they work with you, right? Do you want it calm and tranquil? Do you want them to feel like, yeah, I can do this? Um, do you want them to feel warm and nurtured and loved and like cuddled and understood? Do you want, are you like a tough love kind of person where you're like, I'm going to kick your ass. We're going to do this thing, right? So think about that vibe that you want people to feel. The vibe that they are going to feel when they're working with you, you're going to create branding around that, which means fonts, colors, um, your logo, uh, images and things that you are going to use on your website, on your social media accounts, on your printed materials, anywhere that you publish anything that is talking about your business is going to include these things. And that is going to create consistency. So people will start to see your stuff and they'll recognize it and go, oh, I know who's this is. Yeah. I love her. I want to read this or I want to dig in. I want to click on this because they recognize you. And the more consistency you put out there, the more trust you build and the more uh, connection that you create so that people want to start working with you and can, so that people want to continue to click on you, learn from you. And you're building that trust. And then the more trust you have, the more likely they are to buy from you. Now, step four is to continue building that presence, okay? Now, this is a website. A lot of people will tell you, hey, you can do business without a website. Oh, you, sure you can. You absolutely can. They're not wrong. You can do business without a website, but I wouldn't recommend it. You should have some kind of online hub or platform because the reality is when you're looking for somebody to hire, you are going to Google them. You're going to search for them and you want to see that they're legit. People that don't have a website tend to give us the illusion that they are not going to be sticking around for a long time. And we kind of feel like, oh, are you new? Um, are you not sure if you're going to be doing this? Are you going to take my money and run? So we want trust. We want to know that when we're following somebody or investing in somebody, that they have made that decision that they're in this for the long haul, that they're going to be there for us in three months, six months, two years when we need them, that they're not going anywhere. We want to know that they are solid, that they've got security in their business so that we can relax and trust the journey with them. And a website helps you to do that where, you know, you don't look like a, a gypsy floater that way. So does it need to be super complicated and crazy? No, you don't have to invest tens of thousands of dollars into doing a website. You can do one yourself. It could be one page. It could be a couple of pages. Just something that says, hey, I'm legit. This is my legit business. I am professional. Something that tells your potential clients about you, your services, your story, what they can expect when they work with you. And a place where you can add value and publish content that is going to help build that no like and trust factor. And this is also a place where you're going to pull them into your funnel and your list and things like that, but we're not going to get into that in this, this video too heavily. So just know that having a website is important. Is it the most important thing? No. Is it the first thing you need? No, but it is definitely important. And I put it right up there in the step after branding, because once people start to see you online, they start to interact with maybe your social media posts, or they meet you at a networking event or a wedding or whatever, the next thing they're going to want to do is cyber stalk you. And they're going to be looking for a website. They want to see what you're about before they decide to pay you. Okay. So after you've created that website and you're, you know, you're building that online home or hub, well, then it's time to start getting out there and getting visible so that you can send people to your hub so that they can learn about working with you and the options that they have, right? So visibility, this can happen in a bazillion different ways. Getting out there and being on social media, one of the easiest, especially in this world we live in now where everyone is so used to being online and looking for things via video, Zoom meetings, social media. It's the easiest place to get in front of people. 
if you're not a social media person, there are lots of ways you can do it without the hustle. And I would love to teach you all those in another video because I myself am not a social media hustler. I like to do things the easy way. I like to record one video, repurpose it and be at all the places without actually being in all the places. Yes. I'm sneaky like that. I also like to do in-person type of networking and I love teaching. So I do a lot of in-person events and workshops, and things like that. So if that's your jam, do that. Visibility is visibility. doesn't matter how you get it. It's really just a matter of getting in front of people, teaching what you know, and sharing really valuable content so that they can learn firsthand how much knowledge you have and they can experience what it's like to work with you so that they can decide if they want to continue the journey with you, which would involve paying you. And then once you start getting out there and you're, you know, it, you're sharing value, you're sharing content, you're teaching on what it is that you know, you can go, okay, well, I would love to invite you back into my world. I would love to invite you to work with me. So the next step is naturally, Let's talk about working together. And that is, you know, having your prices and your packages all bundled up and ready to talk about and making sure that you feel really super confident doing that. So that when the person comes to you and asks, how can we work together? You are ready with a confident answer. You're ready to have a confident conversation and you're ready to sign them on as a client. Or when you are out there talking about what you do on social media or at an event or after you've given a presentation or when you meet somebody at the grocery store and they're like, oh my gosh, I need that in my life. You are perfect. What would it be like to work with you? How do I get started? You want to be ready with your answer so that you can start onboarding clients and making money doing what you do. Of course, we can continue on and talk about all the ways to create systems and funnels and all that fun stuff, but that's a little bit more advanced and we'll save that for another video. So for now, this is everything you need to build a badass life coaching business so you can start attracting clients who need you, who are excited to pay you so that you can start making money doing what you love and making an impact in the world in really, really big ways. All right, beautiful. It was amazing hanging out with you today. Thank you for being here. I hope you got a ton of value out of this. If you know somebody that would also find value in this video, please feel free to share it with them. I would be forever grateful. And if you have any questions at all about anything we talked about, or you would like some links to go deeper into any of these steps, leave a comment below or send me a private message. I would be happy to shoot those over to you. All right, love you to pieces. I appreciate you to the moon and back, and I will see you here on the next episode.